evening everyone, my name is Crystal. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Welcome old subscribers, welcome new. If you like my videos, please press the like button and please do subscribe. It is Monday morning and here in Rochester the sun is shining. And what a joy to see the sun outside my window smiling down on me. Okay, so it's Monday morning and I'm at home here in Rochester where I've been all day yesterday, yesterday, the evening and this morning and I'm sat here with my lovely chihuahua. I've just fed my two senior cats who are over 10 years of age and I've just been relaxing. I've just made a cup of coffee and I've just taken each day as it comes. I'm an older woman now. I'm not well, I'm, I'm not elderly, I'm middle-aged and I'm just taking each day as it comes. Um, I've lived through my 20s, I've been out to pubs and clubs and things when I was younger. I was married, I'm now divorced and I'm trying to accept the terms that I'm on my own now. And I have been for six years completely living by myself on my own with no partner, boyfriend at all. I'm a single white female and I want to be treated with respect. And what I was doing to myself before was choosing men that were disrespecting me. They were treating me like a piece of crap. And I don't want that. And I'd rather go without than be treated like crap. So that is what's happening right now. Right, Alexa, good morning. Good morning. On this day in 1990, the career of one world famous photographer really took off. The Hubble Space Telescope. Each week it sends home 120 gigabytes of info and images, with not a selfie among them. Right, Alexa, celebrity birthdays. Today's famous birthdays include American recording artist, singer-songwriter, actress, and television personality Kelly Clarkson, Indian former cricketer Sachin Tendulkar, American businessman, co-founder of Reddit Alexis Ohanian, American singer, actress, writer, film producer, and director Barbara Streisand, and American actress Shirley MacLaine. Right, Alexa, how old is Barbara Streisand? Barbara Streisand is 81 years old. So I was just reading online yesterday that you have to come to terms with life and that as you get older, people that you know age and die and that is a fact of life. Everybody dies, everybody does. No one escapes it. We just different, live in different times and different ages. And last night I was going through the medieval times the 1800s, the 1900s, and just looking at, at the people that were about then that lived. Um, Alexa, what's the time, please? It's 8.47 a.m. Alexa, what's the date? It's Monday the 24th of April. Alexa, the weather? Currently, in Rochester it's 7 degrees Celsius with mostly sunny skies. Today, we can expect clouds and showers, with a high of 11 degrees and a low of 1 degree. Right, so yesterday I met my son for a coffee at Costa's. He was with one of his male friends. Um, I arranged to meet him in Costa Coffee and my son was sat there and there was two coffees on the table and my son said he would go and get me a coffee and I was I had a ginger ginger latte, gingerbread latte. I didn't have any food in Costa Coffee. Uh, money um, is tight at the moment, it is. I'm not going around spending lots of money when I haven't got it. The coffee was bought for me because I didn't have any money on me. And that, that is the truth. Uh, yes, um, I, I'm on benefit. Um, I'd had £110 taken out of 
out of my bank account a few days ago for Icosa Water. If you miss a payment, Icosa Water take two lots at once. So Icosa Water is taking quite a huge amount of my benefit out of my money. They shouldn't be allowed to do that, but they do. If you miss a payment, they will take two lots out. The TV licence do that, and so so does um, um, the housing benefit. If you, if you, if you miss the council tax, I mean, if you miss a payment, just be careful. They will take two lots out of your next money. And we don't receive paper notifications now. When that used to happen to me at Lansdowne Court, they would write and tell you they were doing it. Now, they just take it out without telling you. Because if you've got an email account, they will send a paperless bill to your email account. And some people don't have access to computers at home or the internet, so you don't find out. So I didn't realise till I went to my bank account that Icosa Water had taken a whole chunk of my benefit out. Um, so I didn't have money to pay for a coffee yesterday. Um, it was kindly paid for me, and I sat down in Costa Coffee, and it was very, very, very hot in there. Boiling. Everybody had their coats and jumpers on, and it was extremely, extremely hot. And you didn't want to stay in there. I wanted to get out. As soon as I'd sat down for five minutes, I wanted to get out of there. They had, must have had the heating on full blast and although it's like cold outside inside buildings it can get very hot and it was overbearing so what happened was I had my gingerbread latte sat down and talked to my son for about five or ten minutes because it was unbearably hot in there he was with his male friend um, and I didn't have anything else to eat. My son had said to me, that's a nice jumper you've got on, Mum. And it was pink, sweatshirt, pink. And there was a lady with grey hair and glasses, a bit larger than me in there. And she had a green one on, green, a green top like mine. And she had grey hair and glasses. There was also someone stood at the counter with a bag with entertainer on it entertainer a plastic bag with entertainer and at one time i said that i was an entertainer because i think blowing up balloons popping them is entertaining so i'd called myself an entertainer on youtube so there was someone walking around with a plastic bag with entertainer on it and when i go up to my mum jennifer's in chatham i often get told that she jennifer is not an entertainer so I, I, I felt again that these people are trying to to um, certain people are trying to to keep the Jennifer issue going you know I'm not Jennifer I showed that receipt yesterday uh, on YouTube because that is what they're trying to do. They're trying to make out that my, my mother Jennifer lives at my address and she doesn't. I showed that receipt because the police said to me they had no evidence of, of the takeaway co companies, their names. And that's bullshit. I sent the police three uh, receipts via email and they are three restaurants three different names three different phone numbers they're lying the police are lying to my face which i find offensive and they're going to be reported to the ipcc they won't do anything but it's you know it, you know i need to get all this out and someone needs to see it and listen the Independent Police Complaints Commission, that, that is going to be forwarded to them. The photographic evidence, the police say they've got no evidence to follow up who's doing it. It's bullshit. So this Scottish voice called themselves Hannah, and they were 
making out my mother, Jennifer, lived at this address. She doesn't. My mother lives in Chatham. I live here, me, Crystal, by myself with my dog. So they're, it's still going on. They're, 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 it's just absolute crap. Trying to annoy me, upset me, make me act like my mother. And I met my son yesterday. My mother, Jennifer, didn't meet him. I met my son and I'm called Crystal. And so my son and his mate left Costa Coffee. And I wouldn't have gone into the co-op on any circumstances had I not, if, if I'd have been at home, I wouldn't have gone into the co-op. But I thought I'd get a newspaper. I said to my son, I think I might have about five pounds in my bank, I'm not sure. I thought I was overdrawn. I actually had a pleasant surprise and there was a bit of money in there. And I got myself a newspaper, you know, The Sun on Sunday. Um, Barry Humphreys, Dame Edna Everidge, had died, passed away. The, the man that dressed as a woman on the front page with his purple hair. A lot of drag queens are dying. Barry Humphreys was a drag queen. Uh, Paul O'Grady was, his alter ego was Lily Savage. And that was his blonde Lily Savage. Right? Divine's dead. Another drag queen, he, he died a long time ago, Divine. D-I-V-I-N-E. But um, a lot of, of drag queens are passing on. Older drag queens. Um, one of them was actually born on my father Derek's year of birth. So one of these drag queens were born in 1945, which was the, my father Derek's date of birth, the 5th of September 1945, and my father Derek is dead. And my father Derek was, was a male, and he was married to Jennifer. And he had three children because a, a lot of homosexual men are, are now coming out when they've been married. So they, they've been married like Philip Schofield and then they're suddenly coming out as homosexual. Which must be awful for the wife. I feel sorry for the wife. Because how would you feel if you were married to someone and suddenly found out that they were actually homosexual and had been for quite a while and hadn't told you. Right, so I went into the co-op. The lady in there that had made references to a big C-O-C-K was not in there because I wouldn't have gone in there if she had been. There was a younger blonde lady serving with glasses and they weren't at the desk. They, no one was serving on the desk. No wonder people go in there and pinch things. There was no one near the, the desk, the till with this, where they sell the cigarettes, the vape pipes. No one there at all. I paid for my shopping. I have a receipt. I didn't get a lot. So there was no one by the tills. So you wonder why some people walk in and walk out with stuff. There's no one there. No one to be seen. The blonde young girl was talking to the male, to the male, they were having a chat. Came out of there, came back into my flat. My neighbour upstairs had been out all day, as he has been for the past two, two weeks. He's been out most of the day and he comes back late at night. And I was here by myself. They were actually noisy next door, that way, as they usually are when I go to meet my son in the coffee shop. They're noisy next door on the other side. They were noisy yesterday. He hasn't been noisy at all. 
fact, they were noisy yesterday. And I came back after having tossed a coffee and I felt, felt slightly ill. I had a stomachache. I actually had a stomachache after drinking that coffee. I don't know whether it was the coffee itself, but I just happened, I just happened to have a really bad stomachache when I came back and I just couldn't relax or do anything. Um, uh, and you know when you don't feel well, you've got pain somewhere, you get irritable, don't you? So I was a bit irritable yesterday evening. I just had a, a quite a bad stomachache. I, I started going to, to the, for a wee about 20 times after having that coffee. I was on and off the toilet. I had to wait near 8 o'clock to take Max out for a walk because I didn't I literally want to piss myself. I don't know why after having a coffee I suddenly wanted to go to the toilet more often than normal. But that's what happened. So I um, took Max out getting towards 8 o'clock and there were people on the field. It was muddy and wet and slippery because it had been raining. And it actually started to piss down with rain and hailstones and thunder whilst I was outside and it came, started to get really cold so we actually had a few hailstones on us me and Max did the hailstones started coming down and they hit your face don't they it's like a load of grit striking your face it hurt came in put on the TV I was, I was watching all sorts of things, flicking things over. I'd watched Tenable with Warwick Davis, because I like quizzes, so I'd watched Tenable in the afternoon, because I do like quizzes. And Warwick Davis is a short little, uh, a short little man, isn't he? Warwick Davis, and he's a, an actor and presenter. It doesn't matter what you look like, the size of you, you can be successful if you keep pushing yourself. But in my case, there's a big cover up. There's something going on where they're covering up who I am and what, and what I'm saying and they don't want me to be successful because they actually don't want to be found out what they've done. So I, I will never be famous. I'm not saying that I want to be, but they, they just won't accept that fact. They're scared, they're frightened, they won't let me be somebody. There's something fishy that's been going on. So I have to continue every day, even though I've almost written a book. I've written over 200, 300 poems, uh, and I've submitted things nobody nobody accepts me they don't accept me they don't want me to be part of tv newspapers magazines because if you write a book you get successful you go on telly you go on the, in the newspapers you go in a magazine it's all advertised but they, they, there is a massive cover-up as you've seen with the police, they've come into my flat, I've reported a crime, it's happened over 30 times and they're still not doing anything. And they won't. They just want me to act like my mother, act nuts and entertain them outside and lose my temper. And I'm absolutely paid nothing. I'm on benefit. So they take the piss out of me every day when I go in the shop, walk down the street and I get paid fuck all actually of benefit. It's disgusting. Excuse me. <laughs> this sofa is low. Yeah, and, and they've actually tried it again yesterday. Try, tried it again. They, they try it every day, making me cross, making me upset, and they make money out of it. So I sit here in my flat, and I remain calm and quiet and when I go outside I do the same as well and it's very hard to ignore it and I filmed it as well 
he pushed behaviour towards me when I go outside. I filmed it. I'm ignored. I'm pushed. I'm shoved. And you can hear what they're saying as well as you walk past them. And it may not mean, they may not be saying it to you or about you, but you can hear it. Disgusting. Horrible. And they, I'll walk into a pound shop. And you'll hear, yuck, yuck, out of nowhere. And of course that is provoking someone, isn't it? I, I've seen television series where a guy or a woman is sat down and their friend has gone out. And then someone comes, sits down and, and, and provokes them. God, you're a stupid C-U-N-T, aren't you? Oh, you're horrible. And then they walk out and their mate comes back and they start losing the temper on their mate. It's provocation. And I've seen it so many times on TV programmes. You provoke somebody and they get angry. You stand on their feet, you push them about, you say horrible things, they're going to get cross, aren't they? Of course they are. Anyone would. Anyway, I haven't heard from my mum, Jennifer, yet. And the weather, the sun outside is shining. See you later.